What's happening, Hoodlum Gang? Welcome back to my channel. It's your boy Hoodie from the Hood, aka your friend from that big old end, aka the world's most dangerous YouTuber, aka the smooth operator. Now, look, if you've been here before, you already know what to do, man. Hit that like button, leave me a comment, reshare the video. If you haven't been here before, go ahead and hit that subscribe if you want to become a member of the Hoodlum Gang and go on over to IG and follow me at Hoodie from the Hood. Now, now that we got that out the way, man, y'all see the title. Um, obviously, like I said, I ain't really been too much putting out the content as much as I used to. I need to get back on it. Um, and I'm, I'm, I'm just doing things different, not necessarily uh, keeping up with everybody else got going on. Just staying in my lane, in my bag, homie. So uh, this, this, this question has came up a lot of times, homie. And it just came up recently. I don't know what video I did. Uh, it might have been that short I did um, when the Peblos had hit up out here on the wall. But if a show came up recently, and like I said, it's a, it's a question that I've gotten asked a lot of times over the past couple of years that I've been on YouTube. And not even just YouTube, just people asking me in real life, like, hey, what happens when... Y'all run across these people and these people um, since they don't get along with neighborhood or they don't get along with foldies or whatever the case is. However, the question was uh, worded, it's been worded multiple times. People want to know about that. So, um, long story short, uh, do, the, do the LA foldies and the San Diego foldies have the same enemies? And the question is, of course, um, and you could say, well, well, y'all don't got this in San Diego and y'all don't got that. Um, it don't matter. It really don't matter because that's 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 the type of time it is with these certain factions. And if you're a part of it, first and last name, uh, there is no I'm talking about them, I'm not talking about you. Um, if a nigga got a glove whacked out or an NH whacked out, um, he's saying all of them. He's saying every single one of them on earth. He ain't just talking about L.A. That's how he feel about that specific hood or that specific uh, 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 brand of, of cripping. You know what I mean? The neighborhoods is its own brand. The gangsters is its own brand. Hustlers, mafias, you get it, etc. Um, so, yeah, there there is no... Um, that. Oh, they, they talking about them and they not talking about us. Because cause here's the thing. Even if you not tripping, let's say you from San Diego, right? And, and I'm doing this for certain homies because obviously everybody don't feel how I feel. Uh, probably the majority feel how I feel. But you're going to have people who going to be like, well, nigga, that's way over there. Um, I'm not saying you're supposed to hate them dudes because we don't know them dudes to hate them dudes. The homies out there know them dudes. Um, I can't hate some niggas two hours away from me. I could not like them. I could not fuck with them just based on, but I can't hate them niggas if they ain't nowhere around me. You know what I'm saying? Um, certain homies who've been to YA and have more interactions with them dudes probably got a different idea or a different uh, 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 outlook towards them because they didn't have close encounters. They didn't have squabbles with them. Probably didn't been packed out. Ain't no telling. So if you had direct conflict with these dudes like the homies in L.A. do, they probably went to school with some of these dudes. Whatever the case, they they, they have an ongoing, uh, they, they, they run into each other. They hoods be right next to each other. Uh, this side of the street might belong to the 40s. This side might belong to the Hoovers or whatever the case. You know what I mean? The same with the 60s, the Inglewood families, the the. the the, the a trade gangsters, whatever. They, they, these hoods are so close in proximity to where they, of course, gonna run into each other and have more uh, hatred and disdain um, towards one another. But like I said, if something is not fucking with what you push, it really, it really don't matter what it is. I'm, I'm gonna give you an example. Let's look at the East Coasts. The East Coast is move as one. We already know they they split up from East LA, from First Street, all the way to One Line, all the way to Riverside. 
of course you're gonna have different enemies depending on where you're located at specifically. The first streets was in East LA, nothing around them but Mexican gangs. So of course they got all of those gangs as their enemies and then they still have to pick up the rest of the East Coast's enemies. Same thing, the, the, uh, the five nines might be by the Peblos and, and the villains but it, it doesn't mean that they're not getting into it with, with the Broadways and, the, and the, uh, the the Avalons or whatever the case that, that the six pack might be closer to. You see what I'm saying? The one nine knows Way and Carson, they got their own enemies, but they still have to take on whoever else they beefing with, whether it be the, the, the Swans, uh, the, the, the Grapes, the, the um, I already said the Broadways, the F-13s when that was a certain thing. It, it don't really matter. Once you fall up under that umbrella, it is what it is. When I had the homie Any Means, shout out to Any Means. When I had Any Means on my channel, he from 18. Uh, I think uh, his city is uh, Cudahy. But you got 18 all over LA County. So therefore, just because he from Cudahy, 18, you still got to deal with the, 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 the enemies that you got in um, by MacArthur Park, you still got to deal with your enemies in the valley. You still got to deal with your enemies over in, uh, like, what's that, like, Northeast LA, over by El Sereno. You still got to deal with your enemies uh, in Inglewood because it's 18s over there. That's how I work. So that's how I go with this 40 thing. It really don't matter where a motherfucker from. If he opposing this 40 thing, it's an issue. It's a problem. And anything else would be uncivilized. I can't nobody tell me, oh, we not tripping on y'all, just them. Nigga, we all one. So of course we got the same enemies. Um and you can ask yourself, do they feel the same way? Just like the homies out here. It would depend on who you talking to. Some niggas ain't finna let nobody diss or be anti photies Some niggas might look at him and be like, I ain't tripping off no Lincoln Parks, I ain't tripping off no Five Nine. Some of them might do that. I don't know. But overall, uh, we share the same enemies, homie, and it's just that simple. It, it's, it's really no way around it. Anything that's opposing rolling 40s and even neighborhood to a set, you know, if a nigga on some fuck neighborhood shit, it don't matter if his hood is down by the hundreds or if he over by the, 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 the Menlo's or something. Neighborhood is neighborhood. That's how I look at it. But specifically this 40 thing, homie, um, Anything that don't like it, I mean, it, ju it just is what it is, you know? I like to compare to, well, I just made a few comparisons, but we could we could look at it like this. Back in the days, you know, when the when the, when the color banging was real heavy, Crip and Blood, red versus blue, it really didn't matter where you was from. And this, obviously, I wasn't there because I'm talking about the 90s and the 80s. Um, it was just on. So even Long Beach being a city full of Crips, you don't think when they left Long Beach or whenever some Bloods came into Long Beach, you don't think it was a problem? It didn't matter if the Bloods wasn't uh, two blocks away or the next hood over. If you ran into them, that's what it was because these niggas was anti-Crip and you a Crip. That's how it is. If you anti fodies and I'm a Fody, we have a problem. And it's just that simple. So, that's my video on the nutshell on if we have the same enemies um, like I said, somebody else might feel different, but in all actuality, if you feel different to how I'm feeling, you on bunk, and it's just that simple. Can't nobody put a K after 40 or be anti 40s and say we ain't talking about San Diego and I'm gonna be cool with it. Nah, nigga, 40s is 40s. So if a nigga ain't on what I'm on, he on bunk, and it's just that simple. I mean, you can go find some niggas who don't feel like me, they on bunk, hoodie hood said it. Anyways. Uh, this your friend from that big O N, aka the world's most dangerous YouTuber, aka the smoothest operator of them all. Go ahead, leave me a comment in the comment section. Let me know, like the video, share the video, uh, tell a friend to tell a friend, all that good stuff. Hit that notification bell. Hit that subscribe if you're not a part of the Hillam Gang. I keep telling y'all, we almost at twenty thousand. Man, it's been a long ride, um, but it's gonna get even longer because we. 20,000 ain't the goal. After 20,000, we pushing 50,000. So, 
Y'all let me know in the comments, man. I'm out.